Okay, uh, I think we are live. We should be live at least. And uh, today we're actually going to do something interesting. I mean, just like always, but again, last time we created an artwork live for uh, Billie Eilish. This time we're going to recreate again um, a cover art for Arena Grande. Again, we're going to do it live. And I, f I actually found a pretty cool um, cover art that Ariana Grande has and I saw that would be pretty nice to recreate it so let me just show it to you this one and uh, just look at this we got this very nice rainbow colors and it just looks very beautiful and uh, I saw that I'm not only gonna uh, recreate this but I will also add some personal touch to it to make it a little bit more interesting obviously so and uh, let me just see if everything is set uh, before we you know start just uh, if i got the right title and the right description and all the other stuff because yeah everything is good should be good at least okay so let me now close this and let's go and always make sure to leave likes because that will help me to create more live streams that will help other people to discover this so it's going to help everyone and make the world better yeah just make sure to leave a like otherwise photoshop lord will come and destroy your photoshop so let's go um i found this uh beautiful images so i found this image which is a pretty dope image that boom chica boom hey kawish and uh it's a very nice image and we're going to use it and uh, i also had here another image which i actually liked more uh, when it comes to composition and uh, this was the image it has a better composition i like the crown here but the quality is not that good honestly i mean if i zoom in we can see all the pixels and so on so i thought like, you know what i will go with a better quality image this time and uh yeah let's go let me just place this inside photoshop and uh, we can start basically i'll just make this bigger like this place this actually even bigger so what I will try to do, I will try to focus on her face. I will try to add some rainbow colors to her face. And I also want to add a crown actually here on the side, like a side crown. I'm not sure how it's going to look, but we'll give it a try and see if it looks nice. Hey, hey Ayub, so cool. Thank you, Sam. Uh, nice camera frame, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I put myself in the TV this time. So let's click OK. And uh, again, this is the looks that I'm going for. I will just, you know, leave it here so you can see um, this one pretty nice I think at least so so let's do this first of all I will do this background I want to edit the colors and uh, I will just go to filter camera raw filter for this and my goal is to make her like pinky violent because in the in her cover art she is actually usually she's like all dark so why, why I keep closing this all the time? I should open this and not close it so I can show it to you every time. So here, she's, uh, as you can see, the whole image is dark. She only has light here and that's what I want to do. But first we can also see that her skin is like pinky violet. And that's what I will try to achieve first of all in camera raw filter. So first of all, let's see what we can do here. I mean, this image is already pretty beautifully edited. The colors and everything is nice, but we need a little bit of a different effect. So let's see. Um, Oops, yeah. You know what? I will not touch contrast. I think contrast here is good. Um, find out a bit of violet. Just a little bit of bluish to make it a little bit colder. Uh, let's see. So, color mixer. That is the thing that we always use. Uh, let's see. I Yeah, exactly. I need to make her uh, skin uh, pink here. I know it looks uh, weird right now, very pink, but in the final edit it's going to be fine. Um, uh, this is pink, so we're going to have light here on the face. Uh, maybe I can play with her hair a bit. Let's see if we can actually make her hair like cyan color. Nope, this is not changing. Nope, not changing much. Let's go to color grading and see if we want to add a little bit of um okay um uh, let's see so let's go and play with the uh, lightness and highlights 
I need to make her face actually lighter than everything else. So, of course, we cannot do it all in camera raw filter, but it's a good place to start. Okay, so this is fine for now. Let me just click OK. Boom. So now let's continue. I want to delete this um, thing here, the sweetener text. I will just use spot healing brush tool and uh, get rid of it. Sorry, my friend, but we need to get rid of you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Perfect. It's finally gone. Uh, let's move it up. Let me actually call this um, sweetener so I know that I deleted this text in, on this layer. Next step is to make the background darker. And uh, I'll put a little bit here like this. So, and uh, the way I will do this is, uh, should I? And now I'm thinking, should I do, uh, change the background to blue? Should I just cut it completely and change it to blue? Or should I just make everything around her darker? Now I think I have to make it to blue if I want this to be like this type of blue. So I'll have to um, get rid of the background basically. And uh, let's see, I will use here this tool, my object selection tool. Let's try to select her. And let's see if Photoshop is going to do a good job or not. I mean, most likely it's going to be okay. Well, actually Photoshop did everything pretty good this time. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Well, I'll have to fix a few parts here. Boom, boom, boom. So, Okay, this eyebrows, always a tricky part. Um, I will just go to select um, unmask. I will choose the second tool here. This tool helps us to, you know, uh, basically get rid of the selections in small areas, like here, for example, as we can see. It will try to select the eyebrows and delete everything else. So perfect. Let's see if we need it anywhere else. Here, I guess we need it a bit. Well, maybe not. It didn't do that good of a job here. So let's try to get rid of it here, like this. Let's see. Okay, this should be fine now. I just wanna uh, make things a little bit smoother. So I will increase smoothness. And we can see that now this place Okay, okay, okay. Now this place is uh, a little bit smoother. And uh, let's see, should I increase a little bit of feather? Maybe a little bit of more contrast, just to make the edges less um, fluffy. I don't know the right word for this. Let's click OK now. It should be good. So now if I create the mask, um, boom, looks nice, perfect. So uh, now, actually, I don't need the sweetener because I'm going to change the background anyway, so I can just delete this layer. I will turn it off for now. I will now create a duplicate of this, and here I will invert the mask so that I can have only the background. What I will do next is um, I will leave, so I will just call this background. Background, perfect. I thought I named it wrong. This is going to be front. And uh, let's now add a color. I want to make this bluish just like here. So you can see the background is blue and that's what I want to do. So I will add some this type of blue here. And now let's try to change the blending mode of the blue. Uh, not too strong. Let's see which one works. Um, so hue is nice, but it's not dark enough. So what I will do is I will just go now to exposure. Where is exposure? Where is our exposure? Here. And uh, I will just reduce the exposure. Not too much like this. 
good good so now we start getting closer to this type of background still not it but it's pretty closer uh, now let's double click here I want to change the color of the exposure to other color basically and I want to have a color overlay uh, like a dark blue and let's see if we change the blending mode what's going to happen here Um, probably color is going to work best but okay so uh, now when we did that now we need to make basically some of the parts of the body darker like here as you can see it's dark here are some uh, parts of the face are also dark and uh, let's try to use exposure for that basically so i will add another exposure layer here where is exposure <laughs> it's pretty hot in here so i will turn down the exposure like this i will invert it and let's now try to add the basically make this place as darker see yeah it doesn't need to be too dark but I'll bring down fast and flow so that we can do it slowly like very very smooth basically it needs to be a smooth transition So, um, uh, a little bit more on the face side. Good, um, probably more here. For example, if you look here, uh, as you can see, we're getting the dark. Oops, <laughs> I got a call on my phone. <laughs> I should have turned off the. Anyway. Um, so now this is dark but I want to make it a little bit like bluish dark not just dark and uh, first of all let me correct this on her hair because it looks a little bit weird over here okay um what are you doing, bro? You're crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to recreate this work here. So let's see. Uh, I don't exactly know all the steps that I'm going to take, but we're doing it step by step. So now if we look here, um, this, we got the darker background. It's not the same effect because here is a different uh, wall. But we got the darker blue background. We also got the dark. Um, I mean, on the on her body parts here, we also have like dark places, and the face is light. I mean, not light, but bright. Sorry, light. That's what we had to do, and that's what we did basically. So um, I want to fix here a few things. I don't like this harsh line here. So I will see what I can do with this one basically, and uh, let's try to fix this. I will try to remove basically the edges of her hair like doing very very soft edit here okay hopefully it works out because sometimes you create an work an artwork and no matter how much time you spend on it it doesn't always work out you know so but let's see so um, now when I have this 
let me think what I want to do here uh, I wanna go and uh, add this type of effect to the background you know like uh, I don't know what this effect called but it looks pretty cool and uh, for that let's see if I actually I don't think I have the right image for that uh, let me try to find something from the internet so uh, let's go and uh, I will just go on Unsplash and see if I can find it first on Unsplash I will just search for like a wall um, yeah I think wall should be fine let's see wall because I don't know what type of wall is that um, So, oh, that's that's approximately what we need. Not exactly, but I will download this just uh, for now. Oh, this is also nice. I can just place it and change its color to blue. That's actually almost what we need. If you look here at this type of pattern and uh, this one, I think it should work. So that was pretty quick. Let's try to import this now to our work. Which one is it? It's this one. Doraemon, hi, where? Who, what is Doraemon? Uh, I'm from Azerbaijan. It's uh, the it's the most eastern part of Europe, basically, <laughs> if it is considered Europe at all, because it's uh, it's between Europe and Asia. So, yeah, it could be considered both. Um, so, like half European, half Asian, something like that. So. Now let's. Okay, well, this is definitely not what I want to do. I don't know why this happened. I mean, I know why it happened, but let me try to fix it. So now, when we have this image here in the background, um, I will put actually above exposure, and I will try to change the blending modes so that I can have a nice um, wall effect. Oh, this looks nice, but not exactly what we need. Yes, pretty close. Overlay uh, works well. So let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, this is this works nice. Divide. Hue. Um, let's see. So it's either hue. No, not hue. So let's go with divide, but I will reduce opacity so that it's not that strongly visible. Okay, the only problem with this is that we have here, these places are too bright, so what I will do, I will just, uh, you know, basically blend them in, make them a little bit darker, boom. Perfect. Hey, hey, Paul, Paul HN. <laughs> So, um, so now when I have this, this looks nice. Again, just to remind you, in case you don't know what we're doing, we're trying to recreate this type of artwork, uh, this type of cover art. And uh, here, of course, this image, uh, the way she stands here, her pose is much better than here, but I couldn't find the exact image. So I just, I had to work with what I could find basically. Okay, perfect. So we got the background, we got the, dark uh, lights now let's go and um, now I think now it's time to work on the rainbow on her face but actually before we do that we can see that here her hair is not dark at all and um, I have here dark shadows on the hair which is not that good to be honest so I will try to fix that uh, let's see where is it we have the exposure here let me try to fix this let's see oh, what we can do here so I will just try to get rid of this like this instead if you look here it's actually so uh where's the, where her head is, is actually brighter here in the middle and then uh the further it goes the darker it gets so that's what we will try to do and uh, the way to do this let's see if i go to where is it where to exposure here and uh, i need to make things a little bit darker So now what I will do is I will go to the mask of the exposure. I will choose gradient tool. I will choose radial gradient. And with radial gradient, I can actually tell Photoshop that, you know, make here brighter and there darker. Yep, exactly. 
but it's too much. Um, I mean, I need to um, lower the opacity of this light effect. Actually, I think it looks nice, actually, you know, like this as well, but it's not what it is here. So that's what I will try to do. I will, um, let's see how I'm gonna do that. So what I will do is I will go to the white color here. I will make it grayish. And let's see if we can do the same now, if I do it. Okay, wait, what happened? <laughs> well, what did just happen? Why is this? Uh, let me delete this, create a new mask. Wait, I, I got something wrong. Let's see again. Okay, uh, let's reverse this, reverse the gradient. Okay, that's pretty weird. Uh, what I will do, okay, I will go back to the normal gradient. Let's make this white again. Um, I guess that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Let's let's instead go and uh, make the opacity down. But I think it's going to do the same with the opacity down. Let's have a look. Again, mask and uh, gradient, let's see. Yeah, okay, uh, but still not, ex let's try with this opacity, if I just make this down and try. So, let me do it this and try again. Yep, much better, so now as you can see it's a little bit lighter. Let's see, uh, maybe a little bit more light we need. Let's use curves. Yeah, that's actually a good idea, we could use curves but I didn't, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's okay. We, we already got what we wanted anyway, I think. Uh, maybe one more time, yes. So now when we have this, um, let's save this. Oh my God, I forgot to save this, just like always, so stupid from me. 35 degrees, oh my God, it's, yeah, it's pretty hot where, wait, where are you? Oh yeah, you can see 35 degrees, yeah, it's crazy here, 35 degrees at my place. Um, not at my place, but in the location where I am. So, um, should watch Ariana Grande cover art. I forgot to name this. Whew. So, uh, now it's time to add the uh, rainbow colors. Just look at this, beautiful rainbow colors. Um, uh, but. May, may let's make her hair a little bit darker because this is too bright. So we have to make her hair a little bit, just a bit darker. And in general, her face as well. Her face and her hair are too bright. So what I will do is uh, very, very simple, my dear friends. I'll just use brightness contrast this time and see if I can achieve it with brightness contrast. And reduce the contrast. Let's see. Yeah, kinda. Uh, now let's inverse this. Uh, let's try to. Okay, so now it's darker. That's good, but it's not. Um, wait, what is, why do we have here this? What is is this exposure? Yeah, I think it's it's exposure. So I will delete the exposure from here. Good. So what I have to do now is actually I have to make her face a little bit more uh, pinky because we can see that here is like violet. So what I will do is I will just use color balance this time. Again, make sure it's attached to her image only. Go to highlights and add a little bit of violet. No, that's not exactly working as I wanted it to work. Let's see. Um, something like that. So now it's more violet, her face, uh, more like purple, basically. Are you gonna upload this to YouTube channel? Yes, I always post, uh, all the live stream videos are available after the live stream is ended as well. So you should not, I also post uh, chapters so you can go and watch like exactly what you want, choose the right chapter for you, basically. Um, so let's move brightness above color balance and uh, let's actually make this a little bit darker. 
her face a little bit darker even okay so now when I did this and uh, let me save this again again in case you uh, you, you started pretty late let me re show you what this was originally and originally we had here this image here and it was a pretty bright image with totally different colors so I had to do lots of um, I had to do lots of things on this image to make sure that uh, to change it to this one so that it looks closer to this image basically okay so how much do you make in months from designing <laughs> that's a pretty open question um, it depends on how many clients I take but usually when I take uh, work to basically usually when I take uh, let's say usually when some kind of uh, musician artist contacts me or just a person contacts me who wants an artwork let's say I um, depending on the artwork I can charge from I don't know $100 per hour but it's like you know one one artwork could be two or three hours so it always it's always different but and I don't work eight hours per day so that's why I don't know it's a it's hard to answer the question but it's it's enough for me to have a good life I would say um so <clears throat> So when we have this, now it's time to add the rainbow colors, this ones. And uh, for this what I will do, um, I will, so I have two ways. One way is to add the gradient, another way is to actually draw the colors manually. I'm thinking which one should I choose? Probably the gradient is the best way to do it. I mean, that would be, I think that would be the best way to do the gradient. Let me think. So, um, okay, let's go with the gradient. Uh, I will have here a rectangle tool. I will uh, add the rectangle here to the face. I will change it to a gradient. And I need a rainbow gradient. I don't know what happened to the rainbow gradients. They were here before in all the versions of Photoshop, but now we have here tons of other gradients, but no, no rainbow gradient, which is really bad. So I will use this one and I will just, you know, change it a bit. And uh, let's see what type of colors we have here. We need them to be a little bit brighter. So let's see. We have here like uh, pink, yellow, green, cyan, uh, and uh, purple violet so let's see uh, let's start with the pinky one um and what yellow for the future could you consider making some videos on advanced typography in adobe in the adobe suit um advanced typography what do you mean by advanced typography you mean like how to create posters using uh, fonts using typography or how to add some effects to the text like what exactly do you mean um so so we have here this this now it's time to have some green yeah this one should be greenish Uh, this one should be like uh, between blue and purple and then this one should be totally purple boom nice very nice um, so now when we have this let's turn this into a smart object uh, let's rotate this okay, I saw someone is knocking on the door yeah, and uh, now when I have this here, I have to bend it around her face. So I will click right button, go to warp and try to basically bend it a bit like, like this, like this. Boom, just look at this. Wow. So let's click OK. 
So now let's go and uh, add a little bit of uh, Gaussian blur, just a little bit for now. Uh, 20, okay 20 should be fine for now. Now let's go and try to change the blending modes to see what we get here. Um, nope, 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 overlay soft light. So probably we're gonna choose overlay, but let's just continue and see what else do we have here. I mean, yeah, most likely it's gonna be overlay, just like I said. Uh, I'm taking a class on Udemy currently, really like your videos. Thank you, Rishi. Yeah, actually on, on Udemy, my classes are pretty old because I haven't updated the classes on Udemy um, since I'm not selling them there, but yeah. But I'm still happy that you, I'm glad that you like it. Um, so, because I'm usually uploading classes to my own website, that's why I'm not really updating them on uh, Skillshare or Udemy or any other platforms that I uploaded before. So uh, let's try to make sure it's only on her face. So now, if you look here, first of all, we need to make sure her face is darker and also the effects are too strong right now. We will tone them down a bit. And also we need to rotate it. So let's see. First of all, let's start with the rotation. Let's rotate this like this. A little bit higher like this, boom. Nice. And uh, now we need to make the face darker. The face is too bright. Okay, this is not what I mean by when I say darker. Let's see, maybe I should uh, try again with expo exposure. So now, for example, let's see, before, after. The face is darker, but is it not too dark? Let's see, um, it's a little bit too dark, not exactly as there, so I will make it a little bit brighter. I think this should be fine. Now let's add this effect, and uh, obviously we need to tone it down. It's too strong right now. Let's add a mask, and I want to make sure it blends well with everything else, so I'll just Okay, it already it starts looking pretty close. Um, it's not exactly, but we're getting the loyal content. Thank you. Thank you, Aryan. Um, so let me think. What else is going on here? Um, the left part of the face it needs to be maybe a little bit darker, and uh, the colors again they are too strong, still too strong. So we need to tone them down. And again, the face is too bright. So yeah, few things that we need to do here. Uh, let's start with the borders of the face. Uh, oops, again, not too strong. Okay, let's see how we can fix this stupid line. Um, let's see, why did this happen? Why do we have this line here? Is it the background? If I turn this off, we still have the line. Um, let's see if it is a mask. Maybe we got the masking wrong a bit. Yep, it is a mask. So let's try to get rid of it here. Okay, much better. Uh, where is our rainbow colors? Okay, 
not bad. Uh, let's see if I want to reduce their visibility. Yes, something like that. So pretty close. Now, uh, next what I want to do actually, I want to add um, what is the crown base. I, I want to add a crown to her head. I don't know why, but uh, I saw a crown here and I thought it looks pretty cool. So for example, here, as you can see, it looks pretty dope. So that's why I thought maybe I should add a crown here as well. Just, you know, and uh, for the crown, I actually found some crown images, but I also found like crystals that I could use. Let me make this uh, bigger so you can see it. So here, for example, I found some cool crystals. Um, and uh, I also found this type of crown. So I'm not sure which one should I, should I use the crystals, should I use the crown? Um, no, 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 that's a good question. Let's see. Um, I mean, probably the crown is gonna fit better, to be honest, but I will give a try for as well to this type of crystals. I, I just think crystals are pretty cool. So let's see if I, if I can place them on her head. So like this, you know, like a crystal crown basically. Uh, let me think if it's going to work well here. I mean, probably not. I knew that. I, I don't know why. I knew it's not going to be well. It's not going to work well, but I still did. Just like always. Stupid. So now let's import the crown. And the crown is probably going to uh, fit more. I mean, not probably, most likely. And uh, yes, the crown does fit more indeed. So I will place it here. But uh, I mean, Obviously I need to make it realistic and all that, but let me see if it actually makes sense to have a crown there. I mean, can you have a crown here and it's not going to fall down? I don't know. That's a, a good question. Because I could make, I could place the crown and then I could make it like bright, you know, shine bright. So let me just give it a try. Um, I just want to see how it's going to look, whether I should continue with this idea or not. Um, no, it looks pretty bad. So we're not doing the crown, definitely. Let me save this. Uh, I want to delete this sweeter not thingy. So if I... Um, let me see where it's here. Perfect, it's gone now. So, let me think. What else could I do here? Because I did um, approximately what I wanted to do with the colors, the background, and everything else. And I don't know what else I could add here. In addition, you know, to everything else. Because that was pretty quick. How long is this life? Only 38 minutes. Usually previous ones were like one hour and all that stuff. So let me see. Think. Okay, what I will do is I will try to make her eyes bright. Shine bright like a diamond, basically. And uh, let's see if we can do that. Brightness layer. On the maximum almost. Invert. Nice. And uh, let's add some outer glow now to make them shine. Let's see if I can change the color of the shining thing. No, it's going to be white. Should I even add this? Probably not. I don't know. I don't like her. Uh... So I will still have the eyes like pretty bright uh, to make them more interesting. I could also change the color of the eyes, but I don't know. I mean, I don't think I need it. Um, I, I really don't like how dark is the face. I know it's very dark in the original one, but 
I want to make it brighter because I feel like this image is a little bit different and we need to adjust according to this image. So what I will do is, where is, uh, where is my exposure? Here. Maybe I should try to... Okay. Good. So let me think if I want to add anything else there because I did what I wanted to do basically. Um, I mean it is pretty simple but it is nice simple, not bad simple. Add glowing flowers, glowing flowers on the hair. Um, that's, that could work but I mean I did add flowers on all the other previous works that I had so but should I just now flowers to everything now? <laughs> Let's see. Where is the uh, where are the flowers? I think they're somewhere here. Yep, they are here. Um So here we have the flowers. I could add the flowers add to the background actually, I think that would be nice. Um, come on, don't, don't leave, where are you going? Ah, oh, um, okay. So, now let's try to blend them with the flowers and uh, see if it's actually going to make any sense well maybe it will let me try to change the i mean delete the flowers from where they don't need to be i'll actually put them in a group sorry i will use a group here for that so just do, do the flowers from here I mean, now it looks like she has a bandana. It doesn't even look like her hair, you know? So, I don't know. Oh, come on. What would you say about copying other projects, design, and mixing it is a bad thing to do? I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm copying this and adding some of my own stuff. So, um, what do you mean by designs? If it's like a ready, like for example, if you would take this, I would say like and try to redesign it. I would say don't do it because what I'm doing, I'm trying to recreate this with each different. So I'm trying to use an image and create the same effect. If what you are saying is taking this exactly, so the finished product and then changing it, I don't think that's a good idea. So basically, if someone already did the artwork and you take the artwork and try to change it, I mean, why just create the artwork on your own? So yeah. Um, I mean, it looks nice, but it looks like a bundle and it doesn't really look like her hair. So I think I will not do that, but what I will do is, uh, what I will definitely do is, I will try to add this to the background because I think it looks pretty dope. You know, if this is in the background, I think it's gonna look very nice. Uh, and now let me just bring it down. Uh, let me think. So, here, behind her, that looks nice. Let's see if I want to change the blending modes. That's actually pretty dope, I mean it doesn't, it looks a little bit weird but I think, I don't know, I like it. So let's see, wow this is really nice. The flowers make everything so much, so, you know, much, much better. I 
I will probably add the flowers here as this to have a nice turn effect in the background. And I'm thinking if I should add something here like some kind of colors or not. You know what? Um, I know this is pretty simple, but I think it looks beautiful. And I'm just thinking maybe I should just finish this already because I don't think, you know, sometimes I think you should stop at the right place. Not always adding more effects make things better. Sometimes it's, it's best to keep things simple, basically. So, um, you know what, I'll probably just finish this uh, here. I think it looks nice. Um, yeah, I think it looks nice. What else can I say? I mean, I could also add the text just to finish this off as a cover art, you know, and uh, for example, the text was sweet, sweetener, I think. So let me see. Uh, so the name of the song was Sweet Turner, I think. I'll make it white. Use the brightness on your face as that's your style, I think. Um, yeah, maybe. I, I want to add the text first, if my Photoshop will let me to do this, obviously. Come on, bro. Don't crash on me. <laughs> so, okay, I think it's game over for me. I mean, I finished it anyway almost, so, yep. Um, I will probably upload a video uh, basically just to quickly talk about this whole process and explain it again what I did, how I did it, and also show you the fully finished product, but this is almost finished one without the text. And uh, yeah, I mean, Photoshop crashed, so I think I should just stop here. We're almost done anyway. Uh, hey, my favorite teacher. Hey, Infinity Rainbow. Unfortunately, I'm already leaving <laughs> since I already... Oh, no! It's working! Photoshop is working. Okay, I'm not leaving because I saw that I'm done since Photoshop was like, I don't want to work anymore. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I will post this live after I finish anyway, so you will be able to rewatch it. I will also add uh, timetable, so you will be able to skip the things that you don't want. So, I just need to find a nice font right now because this uh, font doesn't look well. Uh, let's see, so Sweetener is the name of her album, I think, in case you don't know. And uh, that's why I'm trying to add this text there. This actually looks nice, Arthur Sweetener. Uh, let's see, so it's either Arthur. Uh, let's see if I can find something else pretty nice. Let me remember what type of fonts they have here. This actually looks nice also. Um, let me see. Should I add something more like classic or should I add something more like a drone? I, I like this one for some reason as well. Sweetener. And I also have another one here which is like flowers. So it may, it may match the overall theme because it's also about flowers but I don't think it's matching well with everything else. So let's see, maybe try to try a hand drawn font. Thanks. Thank you, Infinity Rainbow. Infin Infinity Rainbow, yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting name, an interesting name. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I know what I will choose already, but I'm just trying to, you know, I usually that's that's my usual process i have to you know go and check out every single one just to be sure that i'm choosing the right one this looks more like uh, a little bit crazy still nice but let's see swashington swan swashington swashington wow um okay so i'll probably go with uh, where is it? With this one, um, I think it's a nice one and it's also matching the whole flower eye aesthetics. I just need to think like where I'm going to place it. Probably here. Um, yeah, but it's okay, I will figure out that later. I think I'm done with the artwork anyway. The text part is uh, something I can do later as well. 
and uh, it's pretty hot so try and color try and color what what is that anyway guys i hope this was useful you'll be able to rewatch this once i stop love you guys uh, make sure to check out my classes um you can start learning for free with a free trial actually and access all of the other classes that i have and um thank you i guess <laughs> oh by the way i wanna um i actually wanna show you something recently i created a new class i don't know if you have seen it or not it's about creating beautiful patterns in photoshop and i actually posted a free class on youtube as well um but there's a, there are some bonus sections that are available only on the website in case you wonder so let me show it to you um it was this one creating beautiful patterns in photoshop and um, in this class basically i show you how to create nice like pretty cool patterns including this this pattern animation so let's see yeah, this one this one actually was done in after effects i mean it's a combination of photoshop and after effects and in this class i'm showing to you how to create this pattern i don't know um, this one pretty cool one this one this one and uh, some other cool patterns that are going to be very dope on almost anywhere basically and again you can i mean the class is 19 dollars but you can obviously start also for free with a free trial it's a 14 day free trial in case you want to do that and you get access to all of the other classes as well so yeah i mean but you probably already know that since you follow me so you know about my website and all of the classes that i have there and also about the free trial anyway guys love you and uh, see you in the next one wait let me let me change so you can see my beautiful face <laughs> love you guys bye bye let's see try to make the text behind her head yeah i will i could try to make the text behind her head but i, I will do that after the stream since i'm almost finished